Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. O'Donovan Medicine Made Easy channel where today we're going to be looking at seborrheic keratosis. Now, seborrheic keratosis is a non-malignant benign lesion typically found in older people. In terms of appearance, they're usually light or dark brown in colour, they can also be black, and typically in MCQ questions, so for the medical students out there, they are described as a stuck-on, wart-like appearance. I've also included some photos here. Now you can see in the following slide a gentleman who has multiple seborrheic keratosis on his face. I've also got a zoomed in image of that and I'll circle the seborrheic keratosis in a red marker. In terms of concerning features, well, most of the time you shouldn't be worried about it. They are benign in nature. However, if a person comes in complaining that they're itching and bleeding more than normal, they've developed a lot over a short space of time, or indeed, if they've noticed a change in the appearance of them or the patient's concerned, then you need to investigate this for something that may be malignant in nature, such as a melanoma. Most of the time the diagnosis is made visually, so the physician or doctor simply looks at the lesion. However, if they are suspicious of any changes, so looking at things like change in appearance, border, colour, diameter, or it's been evolving in nature, then you can biopsy the lesion or remove it for histological analysis. In terms of management, again, well, most of the time these are benign, they can be left. However, if they're causing the patient problems, so for example, they're bleeding, then there's a number of different management options. They can be removed by curatage, um, which is cutting it off. They can be removed by electrocautery, so again, cutting it off. They can be removed by freezing it using liquid nitrogen, or alternatively, you can use chemicals such as hydrogen peroxide. Another management option is laser ablation. Now, if you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I've also left some more information if you're interested in doing further reading in the description section of this video. Thanks again for watching.